Alright guys, so uh, I'm going to start today's video. Um, it's, been, it's been quite a while since I've done a video. Anyway, this is the buck I shot. Um, shot it in the extended archery uh, Utah season. So, um, but I did the skull myself. Um, I bought this little mount that is actually pretty nice. Um, it just goes on there like that. Anyway, yeah, it's pretty nice. So I got a little bit of footage of that hunt, so I'll roll it for you right now. Pretty cool. I'm glad we got him. Me too. Yeah. But yeah, he's not still air. running. I'd rather do that than the blood track. <laughs> Alright, so um, today's video I'm going to do on uh, this new. Well, this is, I guess this is a tw new for 2019. It's So it's been out for about two years now. This is the Shrewd Atlas V bar mount. You can put a rear stabilizer on it, and it works really nice. It's got super fine, detailed laser printing here, um, the front and back, or laser etched, I guess I should say. But um, I have this on the Matthews VXR. Super sweet deal. It works really, really, really good. You can hold it pretty much perfectly steady. Um, now, if I was to hold that without that on there, it'd be really, really, uh, really, really front heavy, and it would tilt. It tilts to the right side a lot. So, um, anyway, I'll uh, set the camera up and kind of do a little bit of a tutorial on how to put this on and um, uh, show you guys how this how it works and how I've got it set up. So. Alright, so uh, the first thing to notice is it comes in this nice little box and it's set up like this or something, something kind of something like that. Um, it's you, It'll be set at default on here, so which is zero there and zero here. So, um, It'll be set that way, but I've got this one already set up to the way I like it, so um, I'm just not going to mess with it that way. But um, then it comes in uh, this foam, like the foam piece that it rests on. On the bottom of it, it's got all the har hardware in it, which is super clean way. I, if you ask me, it's uh, I think it's pretty sweet to have them all kind of out of the way. Um, it's got a few different bolts here. Um, this is the one I'm using. It's kind of got a bigger head, and it's the one I'm using on my bow. So, uh, anyway, it comes with that. It's got a quick disconnect on here, so that's what that's what this big hole is right here. Um, it's got a connector to go with it, so it doesn't matter if you already have a quick disconnect piece. Uh, you can just take that off of your old stabilizer or off of your stabilizer and put it on um, and then it works great uh, and then you can just slip it in there tighten it up and you're good to go So, um, and then it comes with a couple other bolts and to be honest I'm not exactly sure what they're for I don't know if they're just uh, 
just there for a spare or what but um, then it comes with this nice this little washer that you put in to your thing here and it doesn't move and that's what you put this through and put it on your bow so uh, it does come with an anti back out washer that goes on this but I didn't really like it very much it was hard to get off when it had that on there so um, and for me I like a quick easy way to just pop it off but anyway let me uh, show you how to put this on it's really not too hard um, you just have to know what you're doing uh, this does have on here there's like a curved side for like a Hoyt carbon bow it's curved to fit a Hoyt and then the other side is just a flat side so like with mine since this is just a flat riser that's the side that it will go on and it will fit flush against there so so this little washer goes right into there like I was saying it's got the flat those two flat sides on it so it doesn't spin or anything you take your bolt put it in and then you just screw it onto your bow so if you have it on you just take a quarter inch allen which is I think which is all all of the bolts that come with this your quarter inch so and you just tighten it up good and snug after you get this flush against your bow just tighten it up good and snug and then it's ready to go um, this bottom one, this bottom bolt here adjusts to side to side and this top one here adjusts up and down so you have a lot of there's a lot of room to play with and get it to how you like it so um, anyway that's pretty much it for the uh, shrewd atlas uh, this has been my go-to thing it's super super nice easy um, and it's built really really well um, it is kind of a little bit pricey but uh, I'd say it's worth it for what it is so and then one thing I was gonna mention is this little shrewd emblem right here uh, you can unscrew that and loosen this side and you just flip the uh, dovetail or whatever you want to call it and flip it on the other side and you can have a left-handed um, it's super easy or you can just have it on the other side if you're right-handed you just like to have it on the other side that works great too so anyway, uh, that's it guys for the shrewd atlas thanks for watching uh, if you're not already a subscriber please hit down below hit the thumbs up button and we'll catch you on the next one